Okay, so for this video, I'm doing freshman advice, but some of this advice could be for any grade in high school. It really doesn't matter. But I'm trying to like make it more towards a freshman because you know going into a new school it's a big deal. I'm separating the categories into social and educational. So I'm doing social first. Um, the number one thing, like this is the most major thing there is, is don't care what people think. I know that's a really hard thing to do. It took me like forever to learn this. Like I literally would like hide behind my like fan accounts and like not let anybody from school follow and I would freak out if they did because I like was so closed in but then I just slowly stopped caring and it's honestly like the nicest thing ever like do you see my hair right now I I don't care like shoot do people make fun of me for this hair yes but people are going to make fun of you regardless of if you're trying to fit in or if you're not like just do what you want to do we'll just have such a better high school experience if you're doing what you want to do and you're not worrying about fitting in or being popular and all that stuff like do you do what you want to do and you'll be fine um join clubs and sports just like get involved because you will make like so many friends when you do it um, like you want to experience things as much as you can in high school because you won't have as many opportunities as you get older you're going to lose friends a lot um because you're changing like it's basically unavoidable you're going to have new interests or boys girls relationship you're going to like meet new people or you're going to become friends with people that you never thought you would like um another advice thing which goes into this one is talk to everyone like like don't exclude people don't be like oh this person's this so i'm not going to talk to them like no talk to everybody because you're going to realize that yeah maybe they don't fit into your like group of friends um but you probably have a lot more common interests with them and you're gonna realize they're fun and nice and they're gonna sometimes they'll have better qualities than the friends you do now and like you have to be careful of your friend groups because whatever whoever you're friends with reflects reflects a lot about you and um, what you get into as well um, depending on your friends um, you're going to be exposed to um, alcohol and drugs um, not shame like i'm not gonna shame anything i'm not gonna say anything about me but just be careful and be smart about it if you're going to do those things do it with people that you trust um and don't go overboard and don't let it affect your school life and your future as well because that's when it goes downhill <laughs> also who you hang out with is how the, your teachers are going to think of you and other parents like that is unavoidable. Don't worry so much about relationships um, because in high school relationships really don't matter. Um, it's I say it's good to like for the experience and for the future, but don't think that it's going to go far because most of the time it's not. It's kind of like a waste of time for the most part. Um, I just think I guess do it for fun if anything, but don't. It's it's going to mess you up a little bit emotionally and. <laughs> Heartbreak is inedible and and of and do you know the word? Upperclassmen, um be careful for them, um, because I mean I'm not going to say that they don't want a relationship with you, but like most of the time, um they just wanna fuck you. You hear that so much and you're kinda of like, whatever, they love me, but like most of the time and when I hear most people talk it's because they heard that ninth grader was easy and so then they're going to you know play the card like oh I'm so sweet oh I love you for who you are and then you're going to think oh they actually like me you're going to do something with them and they're probably going to leave and even when you do this stuff with people your age Chances are that may happen as well, but it's more common when they're older than you. Okay, these are kind of social, kind of not. Um, wear deodorant. Um, in my school, the eighth graders, which are kind of like freshmen, um, it's so bad. Like when we go into a classroom that the eighth graders were in before, we have to like plug our noses and like the teachers even like are like the eighth graders need to learn how to wear deodorant and brush their teeth and stuff because it's disgusting. Stay hygienic. It's not that hard. Like, 
put it freaking right next to your bed so as soon as you wake up you put it on i don't know i don't care just please wear deodorant make sure you don't smell you're doing the entire school a favor if you do that for the first couple days or weeks of school um instead of carrying your schedule around with you set your lock screen as a it's a, the most common trick ever you're not really supposed to be on your phone in the hallway at least in my school but you know who cares um so just having your hand kind of glance down like don't run to class in general like if you're going to be late you're going to be late doesn't really matter like half the time the teachers don't even mark that you're late don't run the class that's don't disrupt the class or be rude to a teacher to be funny um it's really not cute anymore like yeah when you're younger it's like ha, 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 who really cares but now like this is for your freaking real future like this stuff matters and the people around you are actually trying to learn and it's really not funny and teachers are real people too like don't be so freaking rude to them like yes if they're rude to you can kind of see it but like so now the educational part study study so much like most kids they're like oh i don't need to study but once you get into high school you'll realize okay yeah studying for tests actually helps like um for me i usually rewrite my notes that helps a lot because then your notes are cleaner and you can organize them and rewriting helps memorize and also flashcards um be like oh i don't want to waste my time doing flashcards but they help so much don't skip class a lot or don't skip school a lot um Last year I had to miss school a lot for like doctor's appointments, stuff like that, mental issues. Um, it wasn't really my fault, but like missing school like messes you whole, all up. Your grades are going to go down no matter what. Even if you make up all the work, your grades are going to suffer. You're going to be lost in school, um, making up gym classes, like just go to school. Actually do your homework. Um, it's usually really quick and easy and it's easy grades because half the time that counts almost as much as the test grade so like it weighs it out and it's so you're not if you're not a good test taker that helps or can also be used like studying too because you're doing it at home and you're kind of reviewing this stuff so like homework it's not that hard that's coming from somebody that forgets to do their homework a lot and that makes your grades suffer really bad stay after with teachers and ask questions um staying after with teachers helps so much because they're more likely to um round your average up or give you tips or I don't know overall it just helps so much with your grades and it makes you on a good side of the teacher without being like a ridiculous teacher's pet because by the time you're in high school teachers don't find that cute and of course neither do the students so just like say after school and if you don't understand something speak up or if you're like me and you're too scared to stay after have the one-on-one one-on-one -on -one. One -on -one with teachers helps so much and it's worth like the 20 minutes after school keep track of your grades this is something i'm not too good at but it's good good to know where you stand and what grades you need to boost up your average for the semester and stuff like that um also keep an agenda so you can keep track of your homework and stuff because sometimes i have a pretty good memory and i know what i have to do but other times i'm like shoot shoot did we have math homework stay out of drama um it will help your grades and your social life um it's so pointless fights aren't really cute i mean sometimes they're funny but not to actually be in them you look trashy to most of the people in the school and it won't reflect well on you like the teachers won't think as highly of you even if you do get good grades um and it's just so pointless because in a few years it won't matter whatsoever like get lots of sleep um sleep is so important so you're not falling asleep in class or having your head down not paying attention me um and also don't wait until last minute to wake up and go out the door like be awake for like at least an hour before you go to school because then you'll be more functioning instead of like half dead for half the day me again don't procrastinate me again um if you have a project or something and you know that it's due in like a week just do it that night honestly just get it done make sure it's nice so then you don't have to worry about it. like the relief of not having to worry about the project and having it off your mind is it's worth it to just do it then like you're gonna have to do it anyways just get it over with 
Last thing I have um, is to stay off your phone, whether the teacher is allowed or not, just don't go on it, it's a distraction, and a lot of times you think you're hiding it, and the teachers obviously know. Your phone will always be there, but this lesson and what the teacher is saying won't be, so when you go home, which you have all the time of the world to be on your phone, you're not going to know what the heck just happened, 40 minutes of geometry or something, like just stay off your phone like it's tempting so like just shut it off keep it in your bag don't be tempted to go on it so that is it for this video i hope it helped a lot i feel like it was kind of long but i got everything i could think of on this list um and just don't stress so much about freshman year it's not that bad it'll get worse so enjoy less stress now um and make a lot of friends um and just get involved and experience, 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 experience. So important.